Welcome to Hello Adventures. I'm Eddie. Laura's not here right now. I've got something fun to talk about. I'm not talking about cruise news or Omicron this or COVID that. Fun stuff. Fun stuff, guys. But before I get to all that fun, I'm going to ask you to do something that's funner. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the bell on and give us a thumbs up, guys. Those things help our channel grow. We're here for you. We are all things cruising all the time, guys. Now, the fun. There's many things we love about cruising. Just absolutely love. Cruising is our favorite. Okay, we love it. But one of the things that, that a side effect of cruising, okay, a side effect that can have an impact on you and other aspects of your life is cruises will introduce you to stepping outside of your comfort zone, guys. One of my favorite quotes about the comfort zone is the comfort zone is where dreams go to die. Sounds a little dark, I know, but think about it. I know many of you are watching this video and there's things that you would love to try. You might even fantasize of getting up there and doing some Neil Diamond at karaoke, but you just can't do it because you're afraid people are going to laugh at you or they're going to think you're stupid or Neil Diamond is going to sue you for butchering his music. But... Those, that's just one example, guys. We all have things that we would love to try, but we just can't do it because we cannot es just get out of that comfort zone. We can't escape our own comfort zone. The comfort zone is safe. People aren't going to laugh at you in the comfort zone. They're not going to make fun of you. You're not going to be embarrassed if you're in the comfort zone, right? That's not fun. It's not fun. It, the, the, the fun happens... When you step outside of the comfort zone. That's when you challenge yourself. That's when you find out what you're made of. You find out what you're capable of. You find out who you are. You really do. You're not going to find that out sitting in the comfort zone, guys. you got to get out of the comfort zone. So what's that got to do with cruising, Eddie? Well, a cruise ship is like a little floating city, man. There are so many different activities on that ship. There are so many different people from all over the world on that ship. There's so much to do and learn and so many people to meet. And you can challenge yourself in every level you can think of on a cruise. On the ship and then every port you go to. There's opportunities to step outside your comfort zone, learn what you're about, and see what you're made of. And that is what cruises, cruises are Great, great for is getting you out of the comfort zone. I can't speak English, but I'm trying. Now, what, what, I'm going to give you some examples. Say uh, you use a karaoke as an example. You've always wanted to do karaoke, but you don't feel comfortable. You're going to be on a cruise ship. I don't care if you're on the biggest cruise ship out there. Okay, You're on one of the Oasis class Royal Caribbean ships that holds like 5,500 guests and 2,000 crew members. There's 7,500 people on this ship, guys. You're not going to see any of those people again. You, your chances of seeing them, any of them again, is very slim. And if you do, it would probably be, you know, people like Laura and I, they're on all kinds of cruises, you know. And, and, but most people go on one cruise a year, one cruise every two years. You're not going to see them again, guys. You're not going to see them again. So you can step up there, grab that mic, and just, you know, do your Elton John. Do, do you know, do, do your Shri Sand. Do, sing whatever you want and just have fun. Sing your heart out. No one's going to laugh at you. You're no worse than the person before you or after you. You're just someone on a cruise that don't care and you're having fun, right? That's just one example. But there's all kinds of examples. Like, you, you always want to try climbing a, a rock wall. But you're, you know, you're afraid. You're afraid. Oh, no, I'm afraid. I don't, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. They got rock walls on these cruise ships. They got rope courses where you're, you know, 30 feet, 40 feet above the deck, 120 feet above the ocean. And, you know, climbing on ropes, rope ladders and rope bridges. And now you're, these, these activities are safe, guys. You got harnesses on, so you're going to be fine. Uh, but if you work behind a desk all the time, you don't do stuff, you don't wear a harness, like... I work in the skilled trades, guys. I'm climbing around wearing harnesses all the time. It's, you know, that's just part of what I do. So for me, that's not getting outside the comfort zone. That's like going to work. So, but 
I can see how if you don't do that kind of stuff, that would be really cool to do, to do stuff like that. But you can challenge yourself in many different ways. And one thing that happens, the comfort zone will suck you into sitting around that pool drinking margaritas all day, which isn't a bad way to go. Really, really, it's good too. But if you really would like to try other things but aren't doing it because you're afraid of you're going to look dumb or you're not going to do well at it or you know, whatever, are you truly, are you truly making the most of your cruise at that point? You're not. So you'll be tempted to stay on the ship sometimes when you get off, when the, the ship stops at ports. A lot of people don't go on excursions because they're afraid to get off the ship. They're afraid you're going to be left in this foreign land and, and not get back on the ship. And I'm going to give you a, a couple quick tips on that. You have to go on excursions, guys. Getting off at the port and walking around and looking at those little stores and stuff, you, they don't count. You know who owns those stores? The cruise lines, guys. You're almost like on a cruise ship on land in that little area. You got to get outside of that area. Now, booking excursions can be tricky, okay, if you try to book outside of the cruise line because you don't know who you're dealing with at that point. Now you got to go through you know, outside Expedia and different uh, outfits and that uh, offer reviews of um, excursion companies. And it becomes more complicated and a lot of planning. Just book your excursions through the cruise line you're with. I'm going to tell you why. Yes, you'll spend 10 or 15% more probably on average for that cruise, for that excursion through your cruise line. But you're not going to be left there. If the, if the shuttle bus you know, gets a flat tire or the little tender boat you're using to get to the private beach at that port, the engine blows out on it. Or there's a medical emergency with one of your fellow guests and everything stops and no one can get back to the ship on time. They're not leaving without you. They will not leave you there if you're booked through their excursions. They're in partnerships with these people and they probably own, when you get down to the bottom line, the excursion companies you're, you're dealing with. And they communicate with the ship. So the ship knows we have an excursion run late. And all this type of stuff, these delays, your cruise is scheduled with the possibility of delays occurring with timing of everything. So that's what happens. Now, you know, the captain of the ship of Carnival don't know you're with, you know, Bob's, you know, uh, shuttle uh, uh, tour of uh, Bimini. And it breaks down. It, they're going to wait a little while for you. But at one point they're going to give up and say. Alright let the agent at the dock know that we have to leave. And look for these people when they come. Because every cruise uh, line has a, a representative from the cruise uh, line at that port. So if they do leave and guests are left behind. They'll help them get arrangements to get off the island. But you're still going to have to. It's complicated, guys. So just book your excursion through the cruise line. Save yourself headaches and stress. You don't want to be stressed when you're trying new things, right? It's already stressful enough. Oh, my God. I'm doing something new. Oh, now it's really risky. So now, nah, you know, get rid of anxiety. For me and for Laura, our, our theory is we have enough anxiety. We don't want it on vacation, right? So there you go. So anyways... That just gave you a couple examples on getting outside your comfort zone. And here's a big one. Here, here's one of our favorite things about cruising. And, and it's meeting new people. And a lot of people, you know, they're like, I don't, I don't like people. I, I'm not a people person. You know, they say stuff like that. A lot of times, they're shy. And they don't feel comfortable. They don't know how to strike up conversations with new people. It's not that they don't like people. They just, they feel stress and anxiety in a situation where they're meeting new people. Because they don't want to say, they don't want to, you know. If you're interested in meeting new people and aren't sure how to do it, start with your crew members, man. Start with your room steward. Start with the waiters that, that take care of you at, in the main, main dining room every night. I suggest if you're a new cruiser... Pick a scheduled dining time, either do early or late dining. That way, you're going to get the same uh, crew, same staff, taking care of you at dinner each night. They're going to get to know what you like, what you don't like, if you have allergies, all those kind of things. They're going to know what your favorite drink is to have at, at dinner, and they'll make sure you don't run out of it. 
all those kind of things. And here's the cool part. You're going to get to know them. They're very, very friendly guys. And, and they're from all over the world. So it's a great opportunity and it's very easy because they only have their first name on their name tag and they have the country they're from on their name tag. You can go, hey, David, uh, you're from the Philippines, huh? Yeah. Well, tell us about the Philippines. Are you, do you like it there? What, what, what's, what's your favorite part about living in the Philippines? And they'll tell you, blah, 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 this, that, the other thing, and they start talking. And they'll ask where you're from. You know, you can tell them what state you're from or what country you're from if you're not from the U.S., but that's how you you can start a conversation with them. You get to know them. Um, your room steward, the same thing. So, and you're going to see if you have a scheduled dining time, either early or late, you're going to be sitting around the same people every night. So you can get to know them, you know, and a good way to uh, start a conversation with them is, hey, we're from Michigan. Where are you guys from? And then boom, that starts. And then, then you start talking about how many cruises you've been on and yeah, and what you're doing, what's your next cruise you got scheduled and you know, uh, what sports teams you like and whatever. It, you, the conversation will take a natural flow from that point and you might make some new friends. And a lot of people have made lifetime friends on cruises. And if you're like Laura and I, you probably don't have a lot of friends or family that are into cruising. Uh, and Or if they are, they're your kids, your adult young kids that can't afford to cruise because they're starting their lives out. And um, But they're always invited to go. We just can't pay for them all. We do have six between us. We call us the huddle bunch. But with that said, guys, getting outside your comfort zone is a good thing. Now, how I, at the beginning of the video, I said it could help you in other areas of your life. It can. If you stop being so overly cautious and afraid of trying new things, and you're willing to try new things, the, that ability, that becomes a skill. Trying new things becomes a skill. It doesn't sound like it would be as good, but it is. It is. It's challenging yourself. And you start challenging yourself. You start challenging yourself in your job. You start challenging yourself as a parent, as a spouse, as a friend, and trying new things to help others, trying new things to be a better employee, trying new things to be a better business owner, whatever it might be. You know, getting outside your comfort zone is always a good thing. So with that said, guys, I want to thank you for watching our videos. All you guys that have uh, subscribed in the last couple of weeks, man, thank you. It's it's just overwhelming. We are so happy to be here and talking about cruising. If you have any uh, cruising questions or any uh, cruising experiences you'd like to share, reach out, contact us, leave comments below. We lo we love it. We love to read your comments, guys. And thanks again. I will talk to you soon. Bye.